So in containers, you need to click on components and after that, carousal. Now you have multiple options to create a carousal, like this first slide, or you can create this type of slider, again this button slider, and then this slide label, see? But we are going to try something simple. So this one, we are going to, so we are going to use this. Let's copy this code. And I know that you might be thinking that I'm just copying and pasting codes, but that's how most of the programming works. You don't always need to figure out some algorithm into some problem. Most of the time the code is already there. You just need to use your imagination, your creativity to make something out of that already predefined code. So let's paste it in content D and simply let's refresh it. And right now, I know you cannot see anything except for these three little dots in the left corner. We need images to showcase there and we also need it to be at the center because we do not want it to completely span across left and right. So for this one, we absolutely do need a container div. So let's create a container class and the last closing div will go at the very last just before this end block. Let's refresh the page and see our three little dots came at the near center of it. So now we need three images. If you think that this still looks way too big, you can create grid system using grid from Bootstrap. So let's click on grid and you have multiple options here like this one of three columns and then these half columns. So we can create anything with this. It does look very large to me as well. It is actually going to span from here to here. It's really too large. What I'm looking for is two thirds of this place and one third of this place. So I need this one to be large and this one to be just one third of it. So do we have something like this? Let's see. So this is properly organized. Now this is column eight and this is column four. Uh, maybe this would be better the 12 column system with column small 8 here and then column small 4 here So let's copy this particular code from div class row to just this closing tip because we need only two elements Let's copy this and just after this container paste this and Let's delete this column small a text and within this we are going to place our carousal code I have made it small so that it is easier to copy so let's cut it so let's paste it inside the text area that we had deleted before now let's go back to our home page let's refresh it and boom so now this width this looks much better and on this side we have this column small 4 and we might be using it to display some information about the images on the left hand side. So now we need three images. Now how do we do that? We already have every code set up. We even have this image source code here. So, what, so we just need to define a URL of the images. All right, to make it work, we need images. All right, so I have saved few images in my downloads folder. Now let's move them, cut it. And inside our desktop code Jana flask, Inside our static folder, we are going to create a new folder. Let's say theme underscore pics. All right. And inside we are going to paste these backgrounds. Now, if this was a production website, I would have saved images with same width and same height. All right. So let's see in this explorer, we have this theme pics folder now created and inside we have these backgrounds. So these are there now we will create let's click on home page now we will create the URL for function for these images so let's create that start off with curly braces then URL for and then the first argument will be the folder name that's static and after that comma second argument will be file name is equal to and then these are in my theme underscore pics slash and then the name of the file so first file name is background one.jpg let's cross check it 
yes so jpeg that is now after that we are going to make sure that we have closed it let's make it larger all right so let's paste them in this source the second one i've renamed them to these background one two three so that they are easier to you know edit and that's the third one now after placing all of these let's refresh the page all right so our images are here and this is why you need proper you know aspect ratio and equal width and height of these images okay so just one of those images is working correctly all right so this one second one so this image is not working correctly so let's see what is the problem here because we have copied and pasted it correctly but still so this one is jpg see how much difference that is makes so let's delete that and now let's refresh the page so that's first image that's second image and that's third image all right so we have created this slider and you can mix and match by going to bootstrap then components and then carousel and then create your own taste of carousel and in the right column you can display some information so this column is small four let's display that nature is let's refresh it so nature is blessed and indeed it is now you might be seeing that it is stuck at the very bottom of it because we have not defined any padding or margin around our container so let's define some let's make it the margin bottom of 4 rem let's refresh it and see now it is properly showing so that is it for this video i showed you some tips on how to make a home page with the help of bootstrap so now you can mix and match with buttons with sliders and with this grid layout because i like it a lot with this grid layout just hang on so with this grid layout we, you can create wonderful columns you can create actual professional websites so behind the scene i'm going to stylize this page and i'm going to update my get repo and you can copy the code from there if you want it to make it look exactly the way i want all right so all of this is done using those cards and just grid system i hope that you learned something from this video and if you did then please like this video and share it with your friends and in the next one we will begin creating the register page that we can access from the sign up button and after that after registering we can log in via this login page so it's going to be so much fun so please do subscribe to this channel because we are going to make this flask app into something great so thank you for watching take care happy coding